directly, but I came up with Kevin Hart. And, you know, Kev is huge now. Yeah. And, but, so I, he was outside the club, and I was like, hey, Kev, right, just to speak, because I didn't want to be somebody who didn't speak to somebody who I knew, and he stopped the interview to come to come over and say, hey, bro, hey, he was like, excuse me, one second. He was like, what's up, brother? He gave me a hug and stuff. And it was like, he, he's that kind of guy. And you don't realize how much that, the sincerity of that counts in the real thing. Now, yeah. Pat Patrice, Patrice was an asshole to people all the time. And Patrice was an asshole to his own friends. <laughs> yeah, he was an asshole. <laughs> Patrice was an out. asshole to the people who were closest to him. So he, right, you know, just before he passed, he had got his own show, right? Patrice got his own show and, uh, and, and he was casting it, right? It never, it never, the show never came out, but he was casting it and he comes, he comes home one day, like he's like one of those 16 hour days and he goes, you know, I realize uh, when you're working 16 hours with somebody, you'd, you'd rather work with somebody who's nice than, than, than somebody who's talented and an asshole. Yeah. And I go, really? You, you think people like nice people better? <laughs> that was <laughs> like his big <laughs> revelation that he had just figured <laughs> out. You know, it occurred to me. It occurred to me. You're nice. You're nice. People like you. You, people like you when you're it's, nice. It's better. <laughs> and he was like, he said, because he said there were guys, there were guys who were more talented, but they were just assholes. And he'd rather take the less talented person because, when, like you said, when you when you when you're doing sixteen hours, 14, 14 16 hours, man, it's it's hard to stay nice for fourteen to sixteen hours. I mean, even if you're a nice guy, but if you start off a douchebag. Oh, that's, it's the worst. And he was like, you know, I realized whenever I do, um, because he was on the, you know, he was on the office. Um, and he said to me, he said to me, yeah, that's, that's Steve Carell's show. That's not my thing. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like the opportunities. That, and I said, I said, the, your revelation is that being a nice guy is people like you. I go, took you, took you to be 40 years old and know where you were on the other side of the camera cast and to know that it's just easier to work with people who are easier to work with are going to, they're, they're going to work with you more and more, you know, you when you're agreeable. You don't want a headache or anything like that. Yeah, it's the a, other thing is people always think that being nice means you're a pushover. And that's the, that's the big misconception. Like just not even just about acting, but in life in general, even in an yeah. office environment, it's okay to be nice. It doesn't mean you're a pushover. It's the same thing in relationships. Yeah. Well, it's interesting what, 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 what Joey said is, look, the minute you start asking me about Facebook, eh, see you so long because you can see down the road that it's going to be a problem. You know, yes. and you know that this is going to be a problem. It's not going to get better. But a lot of times people will, will, they will discount their manhood and what they, what they like and what they don't like because they think, and, and then you find the people, guys do that because they don't think that they're worthy in the first place. Man School 202.